Hey what's up everybody, Gil here from Machinars and today we are going to see how to improve the bevel and emboss effect. So I will create a new project, 720p, 29fps and now we will create a new title. Let's centralize everything and change this font. Okay, we need this font to be bold. It's already in the maximum, it's the black. So we add the outline to make it more strong. Not too much. Okay, 50 is okay. Centralize again. And as you know, we already have the emboss effect. But if you try to use it, you have this. I mean, you can change the settings whatever you want, but you will not achieve a good result. And I'm not complaining about it. As an artist and CAD and Live users, we need to work around sometimes. So I bring this average blur, and it already changed. And you have more control right here. So we can make more bevelet. I don't know if it's the correct word, but maybe more. Okay, now it's beveled. Let's just reset this emboss effect. And now we have a better bevel. With a little bit of work and the invert color, you can have the emboss effect. If you see closer, you will see some scratch lines inside of the text. So I bring a new average blur and I don't make any change. It's just to smooth the surface a little bit. Let's make less bevel. And you cannot go too much because it will ruin it, your font, okay? So don't go too much. To have even more control, you can bring the cartoon effect. And you have a text more strong and even more bevel. This tool has a bug here, I cannot put numbers. I want like really small, but I will not be able to, to bring to one or two. So let's leave like this. And now we have a better bevel and emboss effect with just three more together. This is the tip for today, but I will finish this scene. So I'll bring a new texture. This is a metal texture from textures.com. And this one I will just multiply. I have these compositions already, everything here organized. It's more easy to found, so I just go here and take the multiply. Yeah, but I need to remove the delete, the wipe. And there we go. Yeah, should make some changes here, but I will make it later. If you want to animate this text, you can just bring an alpha shape right here to the text. Oh, sorry, alpha shape. And here we make some changes. Let's animate this one. In the frame one, minus. 700 is outside of the screen, left side. 40 is the top. 40 is the size of the axis, a little bit thin. And this one is bigger than the screen. And the tilt will make like 40 degrees. Position with it, zero. Minimal zero, max zero, sorry, max 1000. And the operation will change to minimal. And in the last frame, we need to fill this canvas with the texture. So 500, 500, 1000, 1000. We rotate this, we rotate this tilt a little bit more. And we, we smooth the transition a little bit. 200, minimal zero, maximum 1000. And we have this animation coming from outside of the screen to inside of this. We want this text the same size of the, the video. So let's zoom in a little bit. And I want the video with 8 seconds. And also the texture, 8 seconds and the transition, 8 seconds. Let's just bring this keyframe. Okay, now I have a bug here. I lose my keyframe. Yeah, I lose my keyframe. Okay, so we have to animate it. 
again. Okay guys, you cannot cut your clip anymore, not even extend if you are make the animation. This is a problem. I will try just create the keyframe again right here and make some changes. So it's 500, 500, 1000, 1000, 270, 200, and we are done. Let's keep continuing. Now for this texture, we want that light going through the text. We're gonna use an alpha shape here. And this one, we will animate it, but not here in the alpha shape. We will add later a transform effect for this one. So let's change. We want 500, 500, uh, 700, maybe 25. It's just a line, very thin. Okay, I will not rotate this one, so I will make 25 in the X, X size and the 700 in the Y size. And 600, just it's like 30 degrees maybe. The transition 35. Yeah, it's cool. And I change also the operation to minimum. Let's see what we have. Okay. And it's a little bit solid, so I'll bring the distort effect. Maybe 20, 200. Yeah, that's nice. And now I'll bring my transform and make this animation. The first frame, we are outside of the screen. So let's go outside of the screen. And the last frame, we are the other side of the screen. Okay, now we need this texture between these two tracks. This one is the light, goes to the top. We bring a new texture and put it in the middle. And for this one, we make a Cairo blend with maybe color dodge. And there we have it. Let's try to see. Oh, okay, let's... Yeah, that's nice. Let me explain a little bit. The texture multiply to the text. And this other texture right here is the alpha shapes with that thin light that we created and it's color dodged over the texture. And we have this cool effect. The animation of the text appearing and then the lighting going through. If you want, you can change this blend mode or maybe, I don't know, you can check and see if you find better results. I will add like this. Now we are almost done, so I'll bring my footage. And this is a 3D scene I found in Pixabay. Let's create a new track right here into the bottom and now we just cut and also remove this audio because we don't need it and I have nothing here I will adjust the vignette the vignette the vignette effect just a little bit because the focus is the title now I have some elements right here, so I'll bring the spark. This is just the sparks. I'll create a new track on the top of the castle and bring the sparks. Cut. And this version right here, I just need to make an alpha addition. And with the transform, I will control the position of these sparks. I want it more like the bottom, like here. And to have more depth, I also want these particles in the front of the camera. So I will create a new track on the top and I will bring these sparks again. 
let's get in the different part so this one is the front of the camera and I cannot overlay to nothing because we don't have a camera so I will not use the overlay I will use the blue screen and yes the blue screen works good for any color not only the blue or green let's take this color and let's change maybe 300 it's, let's just hide this other particle because we want to see only this top version right here okay now as you see the sparks is in the front of the text also I mean it's in the front of the screen of the, the camera but it's too hard so we bring the glow and the square blur okay just a small value here in the square blur and it's fine this one is more near to the camera so I want feeling all this canvas yeah that's nice you can blur a little bit more using the glow or maybe the square blur not too much because if you go too much you have these black edges around the sparks and that's not fine I will leave like this let's bring the back one again yeah and this texture also is too dark on the top and too light in the bottom we can add a transform effect on the texture let's find a texture it's this one yeah it's this one and we just rearrange the texture we find a better position for this one okay just to finish this video I will bring my audio files it's just a spark and a background and nothing to do here there is no sound design so I just cut this one and make fade out and the sparks it's the same thing and this is the end of this video guys so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also hit the bell so you don't miss the notifications of the new videos. And I see you in the next videos.